Hi everyone, it's Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies and this week's Trade of the Week video. This is the week ending 3-27 of 2022. The stock was Momo. This is on Thursday the 24th. This is based on a Tier 3 gap entry on a 2-minute retest and failure secondary sign of strength entry. The management advance rewards risk 2.6 to 1. Before we get started analyzing this trade, Monday night is the bi-weekly scanning night. That's the event for free members of DTS this week. Come by and join us. If you're a DTS member, you'll get your invite automatically on Monday. If you are not a DTS member, if you're seeing this on YouTube or somewhere, head over to the DTS homepage and figure out how you can become a member. It's free and takes just six seconds. Daily chart of Momo, that's what it looked like before the day of the trade, and we're going to gap down to right there. You're going to see this is kind of a controversial gap. I wasn't real clear on this one. What happened was after the day of the gap, it went like that. And I ended up trading it long, but a lot of discussion about this one. 60-minute chart, you can see even better where we gap to here. Not terribly clear where that's going to go. It was looked at both long and short at some different point. It's a tier 3 gap, meaning just that, that we need to get some confirmation intraday about what's going to happen. Gaps can have big moves when they gap a significant amount, but sometimes it's not really clear which direction they're going to go. But oftentimes they have a good move, so they're worth watching and analyzing. We're going to jump right to the two-minute chart here because the five doesn't show a whole lot. A lot of talk here about this one. I was not having this on the screen at open. I felt I wasn't confident enough to take it short out of the open. As it turned out, you could have made some money here. I had it on the screen and looked at it here at a quarter to ten or whatever time that was. And I mentioned to the room that that could be okay short, but I wasn't going to do it, I decided. Turns out you could have made some money doing that. You would have had at least a target and then maybe trailed some of it or maybe broke even on the rest, but you could have made some money. But as I continued to watch it, we came down to this bottom right here. I ended up deciding that this would end up being a great long. As time went on and we, we had this hard red bar out of the open, they had immediately reversed 100%. And then as we started to hold this low, I liked it long. Now, I was willing to miss this, but I'll show you on the next chart how it gave me just an entry I kind of couldn't really refuse. It turned out to be a great trade. We end up uh, taking a cheap target one. This ended up being only about 2.4R, I think it was. The One of the targets on this was actually 4R is the second target, but it got watered down because I had to take kind of a cheap first target. You can see why. Because it could have gone sideways all day, or it could have been that this trip to the top of the base was actually the perfect short, and it could have gone lower for the rest of the day. So by taking a target one there, I got myself in kind of a free situation with the trade where I knew I had some money out the door, could go on and take other trades, whatever I wanted to do. Turns out that it did fall a little bit after that entry, but then had a nice little rally. Target 2 is the big one at 710, it's just a couple of bars to the right where that chart ends there. And the target 3 was taken around 230, and it gave back a little bit, ended up being at 797. It was a shame because I had a trail stop stop at 798 when I walked away. And it just touched it by a penny, and then it ended up closing. It closed at 720, so not a big deal. Nice trade overall, and this is actually kind of enough controversy in this one. And some good examples in here. I'm thinking I may do a extra educational email to everybody talking about the entry on this one. And here's a little better view of that entry, where you could see where I was saying there was kind of an entry I could not pass. It was right in there basically, and that was the type of entry that I wanted to see for this particular trade. The rest of it, that's all that's here on the one-minute chart. It's still before 10 o'clock at that time. The entry actually came just, uh, I think, just before 10. Actually, that arrow may be pointing a little incorrectly. I think it was in here as I'm looking at it. But it was over 651. That looks like right, yeah, it looks like right there. That arrow's off a little bit. Great entry right there. Hard to pass that if you like to trade long in that particular case. Target 1, you can see on the retest of the high, actually got trailed out a little bit under that. And Target 2 and Target 3 off the chart on this one-minute chart. If you like trades like this, come join us in the DTS Trading Room. Head over to the DTS homepage, figure out how you can join us. This is the DTS Trading Room. This is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.